Ken Allison and Brian Adamchek here with IDI. We want to talk today about what the importance is of changing out your hoses. Now, for those of you guys that are out there blowing fiberglass, there's guys out there that have hoses that you've seen them. They're 10, 15 years old, okay, maybe 10, 15 months, but they've got the duct tape all over them. There's holes, they're broken, the sun's wore through them. But the other thing that people don't realize, if you look at the inside of this hose, what you're gonna notice is that the ridges have worn smooth. And the difference is with a new hose, we're gonna have fresh ridges. Those ridges are actually designed to do the last of the breakup of the fiberglass on the way out. So what we're gonna do is put the proof in the pudding, so to speak. We're going to run, you can see here, we've got two brand new bags of L77. We're going to run one bag through each of these hoses and we're going to see the difference between them. Now you'll notice our box, it has inch markings, every inch of the box coming up, and we're just gonna fill it till we run out of fiberglass on each of those bags. So with that, Brian, you wanna load up the hopper and yep. we'll get started? Ready to go. Wonderful. So as you can see, what we did, we filled the box up. It's not even, we're a little lower on that side, but over here we're showing roughly 44 inches. Now what you noticed when we started with the first hose was we actually had a problem with a lot of fly out coming and coming up at the camera. We had too much static. It's winter time here, it's about 20 degrees outside. So what we did was we added some water to the hopper, we actually took the amount of blower that we had, where we had the blower setting, we took that down a little bit. Now we're ready to go. We've added just a little bit of water to this batch too, and we're gonna do hose number two. So with that, here's a look at the inside of the hose, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So what's the conclusion? The conclusion was, if you look at the box, we had four more inches of fill, but if you look around the box, we had a whole lot more left on the floor because we got too high in the box to contain everything that we were putting in there. So really, we were about 15% more glass. We filled the box more evenly, and actually, if you notice, we probably should have added more air. The new hose gave us, we actually went faster. Also, the fact that we did add some water allowed us to have less static, less stuff on the camera. So all around it was a better experience because we added that. But really the story here is the fact that we were about 10 to 15% better yield using the same machine and the same settings. I'm Ken Allison with IDI. We hope to help you use your equipment better, get more out of it, get higher yields, and make more money every day.